Hello, my name is David Good, and this is my Master's of Fine Art in Graduate Communications Design Thesis Defense, called Wondering Why Pancakes Aren't Called Waffles and Why Waffles Aren't Called Pancakes. With this, I find myself doing this. I'm seeing this, 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 and this. After hours of doing this, I feel like I'm in this, even though I'm really in this and a part of this. So what is all this? I found myself asking the question what it all means since as long as I can remember. I majored in linguistics as an undergraduate to try and understand what words mean. I studied graduate communications design at Pratt to try and understand what images mean. I have a love for art because it not only is a tool for self-expression, but also a cultural artifact of our history. Picasso's Guernica, for example, represents this, whereas Andy Warhol's Campbell's soup cans represent this. We know, however, that Andy Warhol's Campbell's soup cans don't just represent this, but also represent mass production mass media using irony and appropriation. I find computers and the internet fascinating. They have expanded our means to communicate meaning in a new way humans have never been able to before. For my master's degree, I decided to study what lies at the intersection of art and technology, digital art. I wondered, what are the themes in digital art? I looked at hundreds of digital artworks from the 1950s on reading about their creation, the message, and their medium. I saw how modernists used digital art and how that art reflected modernist themes such as utopia, functionalism, and logic. I saw how postmodernists rejected these themes in favor of nihilism, sarcasm, and the distrust and destruction of grand narratives and the singular and the truth. As the internet proliferated, I noticed that the themes of digital art became more and more complex. What, for example, are the themes in this or this? What does something like this say about our culture? What, even, are the themes of this? Do these belong to this, this, or something else? Through my continued research, I found a cultural theory introduced by two Dutch scholars in 2011. 
It's called metamodernism. It's described by the authors as oscillating between a modern enthusiasm and a postmodern irony, between hope and melancholy, between naivete and knowingness, between empathy and apathy, unity and plurality, totality and fragmentation, purity and ambiguity. They say each time the metamodern enthusiasm swings toward fanaticism, gravity pulls it back toward irony. The moment its irony sways toward apathy, gravity pulls it back toward enthusiasm. Throughout my research, I collected the themes I found in digital art. They're endless. I found that digital art was a form of activism. In one way, it was an existen digital art is an existential type of activism, where it uses technology and the virtual to blur the lines between truth and what is false. The other type of activism is the overtly political type, the stereotypical way we think of activism. It's very confrontational and direct. After having read articles, looking at different work, and thinking and writing about digital art. For my capstone, I wanted to go from researching digital art and digital artist to becoming digital art and a digital artist. I used the themes I found throughout the work and I mixed and matched these themes to create a series of projects First, I created projects under the existential activism found in digital art. I bought this set of encyclopedias for $22 on eBay to explore the, the postmodern themes such as the destruction of grand narratives, I carved a hole straight through these. As I cut through these encyclopedias, I wondered whose history was this? Was it black history? Was it gay history? Who's, whose vo viewpoint did this represent? I grew further interested in blurring the lines between what is true and what, and what is false and how the internet has been used as a tool to distribute credible and non-credible information. To further explore this, I created an Instagram account using an alias called Your Next Video Ho. A video ho, in case you don't know, is one of the attractive, highly sexualized female dancers or actresses who commonly appear in hip-hop music videos, such as this one and this one. I posted videos of myself dancing. I photoshopped images, placing myself in music videos with artists such as Beyonce, Snoop Lion, formerly known as S-N-O-O-P-D-O-G-G, also known as Snoop Dogg, and Biggie Smalls. I saw how easily it was for a person to become a brand and how that brand was by no means obligated to honestly represent that person.
I wondered if something as analog as a painting could be considered digital art. Since the presence of the digital in our day-to-day -day lives has affected our consciousness, our ideas of ourselves, and our relationships to society at large, I wondered if all art is digital art. If something is... To represent the search for truth, the attempt to group a constant relativity, and the need to know what it all means, I created a series of paintings using marker, acrylic, and watercolor. I became more and more interested in translating the digital into analog spaces. I thought of the internet as a public space and how we're constantly bombarded with images and information and that the internet is largely anonymous. It reminded me of graffiti. I use this as an entry point into the political activist type of digital art. I continued to explore street art and graffiti. I created a series of images that could be made into modular posters. I used an 80s electronics typeface and cluttered the type in order to evoke an anxiety found in the themes of many digital artworks. And it was wheat pasted onto the side of a truck. I continue to use graffiti as a way to explore the found themes in digital art. As a gay man who has firsthand been unjustly objected to homophobia, I sought to create a project that confronted this deep-rooted form of bigotry. I wrote phrases like, I'm gay, you're gay, guess what, still gay, on tiny pieces of paper and used a risograph to produce thousands of these. I call this project Gayfiti. Rather than using spray paint to skittishly we paste a poster, Gayfiti is simply thrown into the air. The wind then blows the Gayfiti around and our message is spread. If caught, participants, in theory, will only incur a fine for littering, which is much less than for vandalizing, such as spray painting the side of a building or wheat pasting a truck. Gaffiti does not destroy property, it just makes it a little bit more colorful. Gayfiti can be adapted to other causes, such as women's rights issues or for Black Lives Matter. It is an unbiased platform for self-expression. What else offers an unbiased platform for self-expression that is accessible and capable of dispersing information within seconds? The internet. My final project is titled United as Fuck. I was interested in introducing unbiased platforms of communication that could be adapted to many causes. The themes I'm exploring in this project are the internet, public space, and online communities.
I designed kites with the words gay as fuck on them and flew them around Bushwick, Brooklyn. My vision is that someday people from all backgrounds will come together and fly these kites all over the country, if not the world. There is a supplementary Facebook page so people can get involved. Throughout my exploration of digital art, I found themes and ideas such as this. I did projects like this, like this, and like this. I saw how the themes in digital art were virtually unquantifiable, endless. We as designers use meaning to promote ideas that can change behavior, that influences culture, and affects politics. We as designers have used meaning to promote ideas that change behavior, that influence culture, and affected politics. We as designers will continue to use meaning to promote ideas that can change behavior, influence culture, and affect politics. Thank you.